Hello, I'm Troy Parker, president of Innovative Labor and Cleaning, and we're going to start with the eight positive attitudes, and today we're going to work with objectivity. The definition of objectivity is objectivity, not being biased or taking sides. You will learn to focus on others and not just yourself, learning to be unselfish. So we see objectivity is one, not focusing on just what we want or maybe a friend. Being objective is looking at the situation emotionally unattached and without any biases. For example, sometimes in the workplace, something will happen with a superintendent. A superintendent will say something to either yourself or maybe one of the team members that is with you. You'll automatically quickly take the team member side because you'll say, well, that's my home girl, we work together and he's just being a jerk. But being objective is first here what the superintendent might be saying. Say he says he caught her smoking in an area that you guys all knew you're not allowed to smoke in. In that situation, you wouldn't want to take your homegirl side or your homeboy side. You'd want to say, okay, well, what actually is right here? And you know, hey, we're not supposed to smoke in the building. So if she got caught anywhere in the damn building, you know, she's in the wrong. So you could quickly say, okay, I'll take care of that. Or you would tell your, you know, your friend, you can't be smoking in the building. That's one example of objectivity. Many times we have biases, either because someone's our friend, if such and such happens, we feel we'll lose something. So we automatically go in and not with an objective attitude. We're looking, oh crap, how do I stop from me losing anything? Whether it's a friend, whether it's money, but being objective is looking at it and actually saying, okay, well, what is right, basically? Was I in the wrong? Was my friend in the wrong? Or the person talking to you could be in the wrong. But being objective is taking any biases away and any feeling of like, okay, hey, if I say this, I'm gonna take a loss. Being objective is just looking at the situation and saying, okay, what is really right here? So, over the next couple of days, well, not couple, actually, it's gonna be seven days, I will ask you to work on being objective. Now, life presents everyday learning experiences. And if you focus on this by one, when you get up in the morning, reread the definition and kind of think about, okay, what is objectivity? And also, as you go about your day, in various situations, they will come to you where you'll be able to practice being objective. Now, here's your assignment for tonight. Give me three examples of how you have not been objective in the past. Also, give me three examples using the first three examples you gave of how you were not objective of how you could have been objective in those situations. Now, the first three team members who send their answers in to the email down below, by seven o'clock, the first three people will get a $50 Kroger card. All right. Thank you for your time and always remember, it's up to you to make your life matter.